नमो ब्रह्मांति ब्रह्मांति आसन प्रकार करते हैं शिव शिव क्यों नमो ब्रह्मांति सर्वो कपलो रहित अपने ज्ञान अगर प्रत्यक्तो में आहम अस्मिन प्रमुहि आहम अस्मिन रायम पद्म भूम सिस्टम शक्तिं चतुर्तुत्र पराशरं च व्यासं शुकं गोड़ पदम भांति गोविंद योगी मथासिश श्री शंकर आचार्य मथास ಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಕೇಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಕೇಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಂ
हु इज करता भोक्ता टू आत्मा वेर मेन्शन जीव एंड परमात्मा कृतम पिबंतो बाय दी द्विवचन एंड वी लुक डैट सिंस वन इज आत्मा द अदर ऑल्सो हैज टू बी आत्मा इट हैज टू बी चेतन इट कैनॉट बी बुद्धि एंड जीवा इट हैज टू बी जीवा एंड जीवात्मा एंड परमात्मा नाउ इफ दैट इज द केस एज टू रितम पिबंतो दी प्राथमिक श्रुति the earlier shruti is influencing the interpretation later what what are, what came up later is because dvitva shrutya this two sankhyas where dvitva is the dvivachana which is heard in the mantras pibantau thereby chetanatvena both have to be chetana buddhi is achetana it cannot be the meaning so purva pakshi was refuted chetanatvena tulya jeeva paradrushti anusara charama shruta guha pravesha deha nita so guha guham pravishtau that shruti came up later that mantra that vakya came up later so that shruti vakya which came up later upanishad vakya was interpreted as chetana the guham pravishtau also have to be chetana because rutam pibantu is chetana dvitva is same pibantau dvivachana just a few mantras back opening the opening of the upanishad section there is with pibantu dvivachana which was shown to be jeeva and paramatma similarly when the dvivachana came up later in the same section of the upanishad with what guham pravishtau that pravishtau dvivachana also has to mean the same dvivachana which was mentioned at the opening meaning the padarthas have to be same the dvivachana use there those padas should mean jeeva and parmatma again those who have entered guha this is how the siddhanti has debated it out analyzed and established it so that being the case tarhi tadeva drishyate iti prathamika pratyakshatvoktya in the chandogya upanishad which will be quoted now as vishaya vakya there drishyate was mentioned in the opening of the section some pratibimba is seen drishyate so since something is seen as pratibimba in the eye therefore whatever comes up later also has to be interpreted in keeping with the opening this is the claim of the purva pakshi so purva pakshi says it has to mean pratibimba so what is seen in the eye is a reflection that reflection was talked about in the opening of the section therefore all the vakyas that follow should be in this context the prakarana is set the context is set to be pratibimba therefore if it upasana it has to be pratibimba upasana so with that he says tarhi tadeva drishyate iti prathamika pratyakshatvoktya pratyakshena drishyate it is not a, like drishyate or darshana being interpreted as uh, shrutatvat drishyatvat as since darshana is that darshana is literal it is pratyaksha it is not a uh, it is not a shruti statement that you are saying that there is such a darshana what is being said is there is pratyaksha darshana of pratibimba in the eye as per the purva pakshi therefore prathamika pratyakshatvoktya akshi pratibimbaatma avagati anurodha charama shruta amrutatvadayah stutyarthvena kathanchinneya iti drishtanta sangatya idamah so purva pakshi says now when you go further in that section of the chandogya upanishad when akshi pratibimba atma avagati anurodhat what has been mentioned there <coughs> what is mentioned amrutatvaadi <coughs> this amrutatva of pratibimba should somehow be seen as tuti otherwise the opening statement cannot be kept in line with you cannot keep the following vakyas <clears throat> if they are taken literally then they will not not fall in the context of the 
pratigna or the opening statement there since the discussion is about the pratibimba therefore amrutatva dharmas which are mentioned there they have to be taken as stuti of that same upasya pratibimba this is puro pakshi's claim and therefore he says how will you explain that stuti arthatvena it is a stuti arthavada it is all glorification of that upasana so you look at that amruta dharma of that pratibimba you do that pratibimba upasana this is kathan chinniya somehow you have to make sense of the following vakyas so that your context is in sync or rather the following vakyas are in sync with the context which is set in the opening iti drishtanta sangatya so this is the drishtanta given from chandogya so puro pakshi is saying i am not doing anything new i am not doing anything different than what you are doing i will show you in chandogya also the same process that you have followed can be followed and then then your samavaya will fail because pratibimba is not brahma pratibimba in the i is somebody some person who is standing in front of you it can be anything but purusha is mentioned so therefore some purusha who is reflected in the i that is the image which is upasya so your samanvaya into brahma fails there so thereby antaradikaranam is introduced now the siddhanti answers antara upapattehe antara upapattehe siddhanti says antaraha akshi madhyagatah one who is in the akshi is not pratibimba brahma ev why upapattehe because that that is the only possibility you are looking at the opening statement as the context but that is not the context the context as we have shown right from the second second pada here itself prasiddha brahma that prasiddhi is there it is very well known we have shown across upanishads that these words are used these upasanas are used but all of those are for some phala as mentioned by the upanishad when you look upon brahma in that manner just like you look upon ishwara as your ishta devata you are not limiting ishwara you are saying that this ishta devata's form has been taken by ishwara to bless me for anugraha of the shishya ishwara takes this form which i find devoted to attracted towards drawn towards where my mind is resolving he is taking that kind of a form similarly in the upasana if you do a particular kind of upasana you have brahma as that kind of a that kind of a pratibimba if you look at brahma as pratibimba then that brahma upasana itself done in that manner will give you certain phala overall at the end all this will give you krama mukti in brahma loka unless you have you know reached jnana and then you see that okay jnana kanda this is what is the intention of even upasana now this is siddhanta so what is the background to this do let's look at a background as to how this comes up in chandogya there because upakosala vidya be is being talked about puro pakshi's claim and siddhanti's claim is clear in the first line itself atra puro pakshe pratibimba upasti hi this upapatte will know as what whatever has been claimed as stuti by puro pakshi is not a stuti amrutatva dharma is all paramatma dharma so kathanchin niya is what has been said by the vritti because somehow the puro pakshi is trying to make sense of it that somehow won't work when amrutatva dharma can be so with brahma without stuti 
बट इट हैज टू बी अस्तुति वेन यू टेक प्रतिबिंब एंड प्रतिबिंब इंटरप्रिटेशन इज ऑल्सो टेकन लिटरली विच इज इलॉजिकल देन यू शुड सेट इट अवे इट इज इलॉजिकल अनुपत्ति what is the upapatti what is the right way to understand what would be logical if you look at the context of all upanishads is brahma tatpare vishay is brahma then amrutatva dharma are not stuti they are literally so ekameva dvitiya brahma ananta brahma is amruta also therefore it is not a stuti it is Paramatma itself, and that being the context, then you look at par pratibimba and see what is that pratibimba. Is that pratibimba possible without the bimba, without Brahma? Without Brahma, as bimba, pratibimba won't be possible. Without the original, you cannot have an image, a reflected image. Therefore, Brahma upasana with pratibimba in the akshi when it is done, then that upasana give give certain phala as. adrushta generated by the upasana to the upasaka as promised by the shruti therefore upapatti only antara being brahma antara one who is inside the akshi as pratibimba that upasya entity is brahma cannot be pratibimba itself this is what siddhanti is going to establish so atra purva pakshe pratibimba upasti pratibimba upasana siddhante brahma upasti iti phala bheda it is not neya brahma it is upasya brahma we agree says uh, siddhanti it is upasya it is an upasana it is not jnana section here but then that upasya is not pratibimba it is brahma so up upakosala vidyayam chandogye shruyate ये येषु अक्षिणी पुरुषो दृश्यते येष आत्मा इति होवाच इत्यादि सो इन दैट सेक्शन व्हाट इज उपकोसल विद्या सो दिस इज अ बैकग्राउंड टू दिस इन एन आख्यायिका वी हैव हर्ड ऑफ सत्यकाम जाबाल सो दिस उपकोसल इज द स्टूडेंट ऑफ दैट सत्यकाम जाबाल सो सत्यकाम जाबाल दिस स्टोरी इज वेरी फेमस he does not have a father his mother has been serving and somehow brought him up but when he is at the of the age of upanayana she is she didn't being so busy trying to you know get things done she didn't know his gotra and when he approached the guru for studies the guru asked the gotra what is your gotra he came back and asked his mother his mother said i, I was so busy in serving i couldn't even keep track of all these i don't know what is your gotra so you can say that you are you are known by your mother so you say satyakama so satyakama he is he is vachana is satya he didn't lie so he went back to the guru and said that i am son of he gave his mother's name i don't know my gotra and with that the guru was impressed impressed because satya is brahmana dharma so he said you are a brahmana so and then if the gotra is not known veda is not known a particular gotra is given the rishi's gotra or a standard gotra is given veda is rigveda so some sampradaya is there so he admitted him and he was called as satyakama जावाल एंड दी गुरु आस्ट हिम ही गेव हिम सम थ्री हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड कैटल काउज काउज एंड बुल्स एंड ऑल दैट ही जस्ट गेव हिम एंड सेट दैट नाउ यू डू सेवा वॉट इज दिवा ही सेट यू आफ्टर इनिशिएटिंग हिम आफ्टर अ वाइल ही सेंट हिम इन टू दी फॉरेस्ट ही सेट यू कम बैक फॉर मोर विद्या ओनली वेन यू दीज द नंबर इंक्रीज टू थाउजेंड दैट इज हिज सेवा so this brahmachari went 
Java Satya Kama Java la went and then he returned whenever the so you can imagine the number of years it would have taken for the 300 400 cattle to become 1000 and when he returned because he followed the guru vachana and he was practicing all that was he was initiated into and his only focus was in that sadhana he came back with brahma varchasa he had brahma tejasa of that veda tejasa on the face he had that and finally over a period of time he became he was running the gurukula where this upakosala was one of the students now the way he was brought up by his guru similarly he was bringing up his own students because sampradaya continues so he started teaching with whatever he was taught with that you can say limited perspective he was teaching and then after 12 years of agni karya brahmacharis were doing in this ashrama he he sent away everyone everyone was graduated except upakosala upakosala was held back he was not sent back home and upakosala was upset due to that he was doing agni karya regularly all the veda patha he was doing everything that was asked for 12 years he has served agni in the drishti of agni devatas and in the drishti of his uh, satyakamas patni also she also guru patni so she also thought that he has served well she wasn't sure why has he been held back so she told jawala that uh, when why don't you send upagosala also home graduate him also i mean send him away with whatever certification it is because he has served the agni well and we don't want agni to be upset with us he heard that and he went away went away in the sense uh, jawala went away for whatever his very very wanted to go he went out and meanwhile upakosala refused to have food also when the when the guru patni asked him to have food he said i don't want to have food he was upset because he didn't know what what did i do wrong so he began to cry and the agni devatas that he was serving these agnis were were very agnis there are three different types of agnis there so the agni devata <coughs> personified the into three they they started teaching him whatever vidya was due they gave him so this is the vidya which is given by agni to upakosala it is called upakosala vidya because when jabala returned he looked at brahma tejasa on upakosala's face and upakosala got this gnana from agni so he asked what did you what happened that you got brahma tejasa suddenly out of nowhere and then he said that he narrated what happened and what is the gnana so what was taught that became to be called as upakosala vidya so this uh, upakosala upakosala vidya i mean that with that background what has been taught by agni to upakosala and upakosala said this is the teaching i received from agni he narrated that to jawala when he returned so upakosala vidya and chandogya shruyate what is that ya esha akshini purusha drishyate and this is what is the claim of the puro pakshi as to opening statement is ya akshini purusha drishyate the mantra is given here ya esha akshini purusho drishyate esha atmeti ho vacha etad amrutam abhayam etad brahmeti so first you have heard this drishyate says puro pakshi purusha drishyate very clearly it is said akshini purusha drishyate it is not one who is in jiva or in sharira what has been mentioned in the i so there esha atma and atma we have seen has multiple meanings so puro pakshi said it is that pratibimba which is reflected it is called by the word atma and therefore since amrutatvam does not fall in place amrutam abhayam ityadi we will say that this amrutam abhayam ityadi is a stuti of that pratibimba in the i so by whom is it seen and then it is mentioned bhashya it is said uh, nivritta chakshubhi so those who have those who have 
use chakshu for the right purposes they have withdrawn they have shama they have withdrawn the sense organs from the vishayas and focused on the upasya there then only that purusha is visible it is not that the purusha is visible as a reflection to everyone it is not that reflection which is talked about it is that purusha who comes up as a vision or however you want to see it when one is nivrutta chakshuhu nivrittam chakshuhu yena or in dual you have to use in nivrutte chakshushi yasya tasya yena saha nivrutta chakshuhu taihi nivrutta chakshubhi with from you know with these kind of upasakas only it is possible this vision is possible and it is seen by these nivrutta chakshubhi brahmacharyaadi sadhana sampannaihi those who have this sadhana only by those drashta so drashter drashta what is said is kena upanishad talks about these what is the what makes this seeing possible who is the sight of the seeing who is the hearing of the hearing that is the real tatva there which makes all sense organs work all the koshas work that brahma tatva is being talked about as purusha seen in the eyes also here so shantaihi viveka vihid who is that which is seen that purusha is drashtehe drashta chakshush chakshuh in kena upanishad you have that that is the purusha which is seen in the eye it is not literally seen pratibimba in the eye but what is this seeing also it is not real object of sight it is not an object at all really that purusha who is the subject which which subject that subject which makes every interaction with the object possible which gives satta to the object also that purusha is being talked about and since jnana cannot take place so easily one needs to do this upasana also to understand this purusha over a period of time when upanishad vakya shravana takes place then all this will become clear in jnana kanda so ityadi shrutyantara says bhagwan bhashakara that that is the purusha which is discussed and therefore this amrutam abhayam etad brahma is literal that brahma brahmatva of that purusha is not a stuti purusha brahma are in samanadi karanyam and abhayam amrutam also are are the, are the dharmas of swarupa swarupa of brahma because abhaya brahma that brahma in chaitre we hear as to tasya bhayam bhavati all this that you hear or abhaya also abhaya as a phala that is possible due to the same brahma who has been bhaya karana also the same brahma is bhaya karana as well as abhaya karana to those who are dharmikas there is abhaya and those who are adharmikas the same brahma is the source of bhaya it is like you know the parent protecting one's own child from others so how does he protect so he is abhay karana for the child but then he is bhay karana for others who are troubling the child or if the children have done wrong then the parent is also bhay karana for the child both ways and if you look at the manifested form that we worship there is an abhayasta also and there is also astra astra shastras are there and then abhayasta is also there in the same form so this brahma same brahma manifests as bhaya karana and abhaya karana at the same time for various people so this abhaya use here is swarupa द्वितीयाद्वयी भयम भवती सो अद्वितीय ब्रह्म 
is abhaya brahma when there is dvitiya seen then there is bhaya so there will be bhaya from the same brahma it is a perspective of the vyavaharik from the vyavaharika perspective of the jeeva the same brahma who is actually abhaya brahma can be bhaya karan also so abhaya is swarupa amruta is also swarupa because anantatva एषात्म प्राणीना उवाच एवं उत्तवान्तव आत्मतत्व अवोचाम एकदमृत अमरणधर्मी अविनाशी अथ एव अभय सो अविनाशी देर फॉर अभय इन विनाशा देर इज भय बट इन अविनाशा देर कैन बी नो भय सी द्वितीयाद्वी भय भवती ऑल्सो वॉट डज इट से देर इज भय देर इज फियर ओनली ऑफ नाशा someone else who is going to hurt me and then i'll have nasha nasha adarshan i don't want to be you know i don't want to cease to exist i want to be how long forever i want to exist forever the unfortunate part is that i want to most of us think that wanting to exist forever not as swarupa but with the body with the kind of body that i rejoiced to have with that luster non aging whatever it is you know beauty muscular whatever it is that kind of body i want to retain forever that won't happen that is not the swarupa i want to have the same sukshma sharira the intellect the manas that is also not possible so swarupa is abhaya but when it is associated with upadi it will seem as though it that it is mimicking the upadi ध्यायति व लीलायति व से इज दी बृहत्ति एज दो फॉलोइंग लीलायति इव एज दो फ्लिकरिंग विद दी चेंजेस इन दी बॉडी माइंड सेंस कॉम्प्लेक्स आत्मा आई फील दैट आई ऑल्सो एम फ्लिकरिंग ध्यायति इव एज दो यू नो बिकमिंग स्टिल सो एज दो मूविंग एज दो बिकमिंग स्टिल कवर्स ऑल शॉर्ट्स ऑफ चेंजेस दैट कैंड ऑफ ब्रह्म विच एपियर्स टू मिमिक इज एक्चुअली अनंत mimics aging mimics growing mimics all sorts of changes shadavikara as do but really drishtehe drashta the drishti aging does not change the sakshi there at all so amarana dharmi therefore abhaya there is no fear because the body dying also i won't die nahanyate hanyamane sharire says bhagwan krishna to arjuna even if the body dies is killed the atma does not get killed yasya hi vinasha shanka tasya bhayo upapatti if there is a doubt regarding oh i'll have vinasha only that person will have bhaya tad bhavat abhayam and since brahma cannot have that that brahma is abhaya there is no vinasha shanka there is no doubt that i'll have vinasha sometime that kind of doubt is not there for brahma atma अतएव तद ब्रह्म बृहद अनंतम इती सो दैट ब्रह्म इज बृहत अनंतम धातु अर्थ इज गिवन विद द धातु अर्थ ब्रह्म इज बीन एक्सप्लेन सो ब्रूही विरुद्ध प्लस मनीन प्रत्यय गिव्स यू ब्रह्म दैट ब्रह्म मीनिंग इज बृहत लिमिटलेस इन अनंत इज द मीनिंग देयर सो दिस ब्रह्म इज व्हाट इज सेड टू बी सीन इन द अक्षी सो अक्षिणी पुरुष दृश्यते दैट आत्मा is what amrutam abhayam etad brahma that brahma itself is seen in the in the akshi of the upasaka which kind of an upasaka that upasaka who has followed brahmachar charyadi sadhana who is nivrutta chakshu shanta ityadi viveki by him when some level of chitta shuddhi is there enough to enough for the pratibimba to manifest clearly one can appreciate the pratibimba not through buddhi itself but then in upasana one can have ekagra in that kind of a clear pratibimba not without all the noise of the indriyas bringing the vishayas and bombarding without giving any bandwidth for the buddhi to concentrate for the mind to be focused not that kind of a or a of a trial of upasana 
which keeps on feeling through and through. This is very composed person who can have this upasana as a possibility. Where it will not be pratibimba, you know, trying to imagine things. It is not imagined manifestation of some purusha. Seeing that, oh, I should see myself in the eye. I should see some other in the eye, whoever is closer. Or your ishta devata, you try to look at and you say that, okay, I have this ishta devata. I want all this. When he comes over, I'll ask this. All these ideas will not make this upasana possible. Therefore, what pratibimba is talked about has to be nitya also. Now, this will come up in discussion as well. Across, across sutras or actually across mantras in the Upanishad, which we'll look at because one mantra and one part of quotation may not be sufficient to drive home the point as to what is happening. But initially what is set up by the vritti in the sutra also is that this has come up early, earlier in Brahma Sutra itself for discussion with Brihad Mantra, which we had seen. So that is drawn comparison with here. So, Tatra Akshini Antaha Upadishyamanaha Pratibimbadihi. Pratibimbadi, what has been taught there in Upasana is Pratibimbadi Amruta Dharma Ityadi. Uta Paramatma, is it that Pratibimba itself, whatever has been talked about, is that Pratibimbita Purusha, which is Upasya, who is Upasya? Uta Paramatma Iti Samshe Pratibimbadihi Iti Puru Pakshaha. So this is very clear that Pratibimba, whatever is discussed, it is literal there and that is the Upasya literally. I mean, that is what you should focus on, says the Purva Pakshi. Whereas Siddhanti says, Siddhantas to Antaraha. What has it mentioned? Antaraha. One who is within the eye, that Purusha who is seen as within the eye, is who? Akshi Madhya Gataha, who is seen in the eye, is Paramatma Eva. Paramatma Eva Upadishyate. What is taught is Paramatma, Brahma, Reflected in the eye, all right, but reflection is not of anyone else and reflection is not possible without the original. That original is Brahma, so you should have that Brahmadhi in that Upasana. Kutaha, why so? Upapattehe, because only then it will be tenable. How so? Same mantra at the end, you look at the words, they are not stuti, stuti para, they are, they are Brahma para and Brahma dharmas are talked about there, they are Swarupa. Of Brahma, At, Amrut, Atmatva, Amrutatva, Abhayatvadinam, Iha Uktanam, Paramatmani Eva Upapatte. These dharmas which are talked about, mentioned as Atma, Esha Atma, that Atma is not Sharira, that Atma is Brahma. There is Samanadi Karnim. So it is like a Mahavakya, but in Upasana it has come up, so people miss that. That is why Bhagavan Bhashikara brings up Chakshushas Chakshuhu. It will fall in place when you look at this Atma as Jivatma without the Upadis of the Sharira, Ityadi, and then Brahma. Which Brahma? Amruta Abhaya Brahma. So Atmatvam, Amrutatvam, Abhayatvam are possible all in Samanari Karanyam and then Brahma only when it is Paramatma, Brahma, not as a Stuti of Reflected Purusha, whichever Purusha you think he is. Therefore, Atmatva, Amrutatva, Abhetva, Adinam, Ihauktanam, since they have been mentioned, they are tenable only in Paramatma. Paramatmani Eva Upapatti. And you go further. What has been mentioned? If you go further in Chandogya, there are other mantras also. I didn't copy this mantra, but then Etam Sanyadvama Ityachakshate. So, if you go further, you will see Etam Sanyadvamaha. There are multiple, it is a long mantra, but only choices words if you look at as to what is the what is the word used, which is a defining word of what is the context of that Shruti Vakya. Mm-hmm. You will see Etam Sanyadvamaha. Then Esha U Eva Vamanihi. Esha U Eva Bhamanihi. What is Sanyadva Maha, Vamanihi, Bhamanihi? All that is Brahma. So, this Purusha who is Akshigata, who is Upasya, is Brahma and Brahma para, not Stuti para, because further also you have the same context. Not everything can be a Stuti, only one line you take literally. In the entire section, you have got one line. Half a line that to half a vakya which you are claiming to be exactly the way it is. 
everything else is stuti everything else has to be interpreted as stuti that won't work so if you look at the context of brahma which is comparable across upanishads and then you look at this pratibimba as not literally pratibimba as in pratibimba is not upasya the brahma is upasya as pratibimba then everything falls in place you don't have to use a, you know this stuti arthavada as the interpretation of everything else because e etam sanyadvamaha that sanyadvamaha means prapta kamaha your pratibimba is not prapta kama so this sanyadvama means prapta kama so that pratibimba is not prapta kama so praptaha kamaha yasya or yena sa purushaha upasya that purusha is upasya and when you say prapta kama not one kama prapta prapta kama means prapta sarve kama ha yena sah purusha upasyatra that is sanyadvama then vamanihi kama prapaka he also makes others causative it is uh, vamanihi is means there, there i'm just uh, looking at the meaning there so bhashya says it is kama prapaka paraphrasing it as kama prapaka means makes others attain as well that is ishara hetu karta bhamani he has been mentioned jagat bhasaka that bhas the all the prakasha chaitanya really through which you know the jagat whether it is lit up by consciousness or whether it is lit up by surya who is lit up by consciousness or that chetana swarupa which makes the subject objectify the object that jagat bhasaka bhamani is not pratibimba vamani is not pratibimba sanyadvama is not pratibimba they are all brahma dharma therefore parmatma is upasya so etam sanyadvama ityachakshate ityadi nirdishta sanyadvamatvadinam cha परमात्मनि एव उपपत्ते हे न प्रतिबिंबे अन्यत्र वा उपपत्ति ही तेषां धर्माणां अन्यत्र कुत्रापि न उपपत्ति ही नॉट ओनली इन प्रतिबिंब इफ यू से प्रतिबिंब इन प्रतिबिंब दिस धर्मास आर नॉट पॉसिबल देन इफ दिस पूर्व पक्षी वेर टू से ओके दे आर नॉट पॉसिबल इन प्रतिबिंब बट मे बी दे आर पॉसिबल इन एल Uh, something else some other devata something else no only in parmatma there will be possible so if you give up pratibimba and have vitandavada that no it is not parmatma also then anything else you bring up it won't be possible these dharmas won't be possible in anything else other than not only other than pratibimba but other than brahma if you take some someone other than pratibimba then it ha- it cannot be any other than pratibimba it has to be that other than pratibimba which is brahma so bimba bimba is brahma atah akshantarah purusha parmatma eva ichyartah therefore this antarah seen in the akshi has to be parmatma now it will come up later also but uh, let's look at what is the anyatra va upapatti hi see anyatra upapatti is if at all you say that there will be some pratibimba in the front uh, a bimba in the front which will make pratibimba possible then what will happen whenever the upasaka has to do upasana that time he has to keep this bimba in front of him so just like you know uh, somebody does uh, ishta devata puja or upasana also they keep a, till they can get the vision they keep the idol or the photo in front that is not the upasana discuss here so bhagwan bhashikara says in that context that this kind of an expectation is 
is is not a right expectation that upasaka has to bring some person now not an image or anything of that sort because that purusha has to be reflected in the eye and in that eye there is a there will be a pratibimba form and on that pratibimba i have to do upasana therefore every time the upasaka has to do upasana he will have to bring that kind of a person and place him in the front wait for the uh, look at the image and then on that pratibimba one has to do upasana it is all you know so much of government it makes no sense why does it not make sense because what is the phala discussed to that if you look at some person and make an image of i mean uh, you look at the reflection in your eye and then do upasana on that reflection then what is the phala you will get will the upanishad make sense upanishad phala makes sense there you can't get a, you know any kind of phala uh, that the upanishad talks about based on or rather you can't get any of the upasana phalas discussed in the upanishad when you do upasana any which way it has to be the way it has been mentioned and it should make sense also so brahma gati is possible only when you do brahma upasana you can't get brahma loka gati brahma loka gati is mentioned there so this will come up as to anyatra va upapatti hi if you think not in pratimba but the purusha who is there in front of me none of that will work so that is the uh, context of the chandogya section where this claim has been refuted now puro pakshi says nanu sarvagatasya alpa makshi sthanam na sambhavati this objection we have seen similar objection has come up earlier sarvagata brahma cannot cannot be in uh, hrudaya akasha so this puro pakshi still has a doubt as to here also sarvagata brahma how can it be in akshi desha not hrudaya desha akshi desha no tanu sarvagatasya alpam akshi sthanam na sambhavati iti purva paksha bijam dushetum idam ah so next sutra is refuting that kind of an objection where sarvagata sarvayapaka paramatma sarvavyapi paramatma cannot be in a small i the section of the i so with this kind of a thought puro pakshi has come up with a doubt to refute that sthanaadi upadeshaacha sthanaadi upadeshaacha so sthanaadi vyapadeshaacha there is a teaching in the upasana as to brahma being upasya in this sthana and with these characteristics these dharmas adipadena these dharmas can be taken and these we have seen in sthana limitation is not literal limitation the sthana mentioned hruday desha or akshi desha where pratimba takes place it is possible for the sarvavyapak brahma just like the example was given of akasha so you have forgot on that says the siddhanti then he says that this all these dharmas which are talked about can be any dharmas because they are not they need not be literal if they are literal well and good if they are not literal also you should take that because if amrutatvam cannot be possible for the pratibimba yes they cannot be possible but it is possible for brahma and that brahma dharma should be seen as reflected in the small desha of the i in that pratibimba also those dharma should be seen they are brahma dharmas brahma dharmas have to be seen although not literal in the case of pratibimba they have to be applied in the case of pratibimba so it is not a stuti of pratibimba the way you are seeing it they are brahma dharmas but when brahma is seen as a reflection then this brahma dharma should not be seen as having gone so if you say akshi gatatvam is a dharma yes that is also dharma pratibimbatvam is a dharma yes pratibimbatvam is also dharma amrutatvam is a dharma yes while being akshi gata and pratibimbita still brahma dharmas of amrutatva are possible so the, the upanishad will tell you how to do the upasana you do it that way 
without losing brahmadhi you hold on to that upasana it will give you phala when you know it completely then it will give you more phala so this brahma loka gati will also be possible and we have seen this hiranyashma shru etc where also dharmas which are not literal but they are possible in upasana as in having a golden mustache we had seen in in the brahad uh, vakya where the upasana said that surya surya gata aditya mandala gata antaha one who is within should be seen as this kind of a purusha who has golden hair etc golden uh, roopa they are all not literal they are for upasana similarly here there can be literal or non literal dharmas for upasanas what is the problem so sthanaadi upadeshaatya and due to sthana and dharmas being mentioned as it uh, being taught in the section for upasana brahma can be the upasya while taking up other dharmas or the other where brahmadhi is there there also brahma dharmas can be there other than pratibimba dharmas also so that is the sutra sutra artha yash chakshushi tishtan ityadi chakshuradini sthanani sthanana sthananyadaya uh, sthanadaya so there is this uh, ani is a typo there so sthanadaya yesham tasya so chakshuradini sthanani sthanani adaya does not make sense there sthanani uh, so this sthanani yesham or स्थानादेती नाम हिण्यश्मश्रु इत्यादि नाम रूपाण उपासनाथ व्यपदेशा अभी परमात्म अक्षिस्थानादेशो न अनुपन्न इत सो न अनुपन्न इट इज नॉट यू कैन नॉट ऑब्जेक्ट टू इट से सिद्धांत क्रॉस्चेक वॉट इज देर इन दी प्रिंट tanani adaya okay so yeah i i read it wrong so it's so adaya here because adi is taken as uh, in uh, in masculine so that is the yes, tanani is in neuter in the vritti it is you know mentioned as adaya yesham so since dharmas are uh, mentioned there so it is chakshuradini tanani adaya yesham so that's how uh, uh, if it is to be read that way it is also okay but then uh, you know one is neuter the other is taken as uh, in masculine so yesham tasya udeti nama so the names are given some with some nama in mind one has to do upasana elsewhere so elsewhere it has been mentioned uh, as to how this upasana should be done so yash chakshushi tishtan being in the eye so such mantras are there and then nama is given tasya udeti ti nama then form is given nama roopa is given hiranyashmashru so where it is sthana is given sthana is chakshushi tishtan then adipadena nama roopa also udeti nama then roopa is hiranyashashru so all these are mentioned elsewhere also ityadi nama roopanam sthana इत्यादि नाम रूपण स्थान नाम रूपाण तेषा उपासनाथन व्यपदेशा यहाँ परमात्म अक्षिस्थानादी व्यपदेश न अनुपन्न इत जस्ट लाइक एलस्वेर वी हेव सीन इन बृहद इन अंतरधिकरण बृहद मंत्र वॉज टेकन एज विषय बृहदवाक्य एंड दैट श्रुतिवाक्य विच वॉज इन दि उपासना दि उपासना वॉज डिस्क विथान नाम रूप which is not literal rupa is not literal there similarly here sthana nama rupa are also possi- possible as pratibimbida purusha all these are possible amrutattva dharma is can be literal and still be extended to the pratibimba for what purpose upasana arthatvam उपासनाय सो उपासनाथन व्यपदेशा सिंस द टीचिंग एलस्वेर इज ऑलसो फॉर उपासना ऑल दी स्थान नाम रूपा ओनली फॉर दी पर्पस ऑफ उपासना फॉर हेल्पिंग आउट दी उपासका रीच हिज गोल 
Purushartha, for Purushartha Siddhi. Therefore, here also in Chandogya, it is definitely possible, it is not untenable, meaning it is tenable. So, what has been said earlier, Upapatte, now it is saying, there is no Anupapatti. So, na Anupapanna, ha. Paramatmana Akshisthana Adi Vipadesha na Anupanna. If you doubt that, oh, it cannot take Akshisthana, it can take. Another reasoning was given earlier, just a few sutras back, a couple of Adhikaranas back, we had seen that Akasha can be there in the eye of the needle also while being Saroyapaka. Similarly, Brahma can be there in the in the Akshisthana also. Reason is not given. That reason can also be, be used. But other sorts of reasonings also make this refutation possible. That is what is shown in the Vritti as well as Brahma Sutra. That there can be many reasonings which can be used to refute. Otherwise, if you just use reasoning without seeing that the Shruti Viroda is taking place. In Brahadaranika, somewhere Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, you should analyze whether your Tarka is right. It will appear as Nyaya. Nyaya. It will appear as Nyaya. Meaning, uh, it is in keeping with Nyaya. It will in keeping with Tarka, but it won't be. There will be Nyaya Bhasa. So there he says, uh, he says that Shruti Virodhe Nyaya Bhasatvat. If at all your all that you have used is Tarka and in justifying one particular Vakya in particular Upanishad also if you are successful, if at all there is Virodha with another Shruti with your Tarka, then even if it is appearing as Nyaya, Still, there will be Nyaya Bhasa. It is not Nyaya. It is, there is an, there is an Abhasa. Like you have in Tarka, you have Hetwa Bhasa. So, it is that, that kind of Hetwa Bhasa. You have, finally, your conclusion seems very logical, but it is an appearance of logic. You are justifying that logic, but if at all there is Shruti Virodha, it is not logical at all. See, Shruti cannot be proved by logic completely by Shushka Tarka, only by logic, does not mean that it is not logical. So, Shruti is not illogical and there is no claim made by anyone that it is logical. It is not right to make such a claim. We, we cannot say that Shruti has to fall in the bounds of logic. It, it does not have to. There is no, no such idea should be entertained. Shruti is beyond logic. We, Shruti gives logic as logic is helping. Because we have our limitations, we cannot reach that level of the Shruti, vision of the Shruti. To reach that level, logic is useful, but it is not sufficient all by itself. It is needed. It is not sufficient and there is no reason to take the route that everything in the Shruti should be logical, should be proven by logic. It is not necessary at all. But if at all you use logic and it goes against Shruti Vakya, then your logic is not right. If you set out to prove something by logic and you say that, oh, no, it is not working, Shruti is, there is a Virodha in Shruti, but you think that, oh, I have concluded logically, then your logic is wrong. Just because it is not logical does not mean it is illogical. If you find illogical, then it is because you are, you are wrong, not the Shruti, your logic is wrong. And if you think that you are logical, but then there is somewhere else the Shruti is saying something else, then, then also your logic is wrong. So, Shruti Virodhe, Shruti Virodhe Sati, Shruti Virodhe Nyaya Bhasatvat. So, this, uh, this route should not be taken. Shruti is illogical, illogical. It is beyond logic. It has no business with logic only as such. Shruti does use, it, use logic, it is needed for manana without that kind of, at least that much of tarka, manana is not going to be possible, but one should not get carried towards the end that, okay, tarka only will work, because it is very, it becomes tasty, for many it becomes, you know, you indulge and it is an, the intellectual, intellectual effort is very satisfying. Let that be, let it be satisfying, but then let it not be the only way out for you that I'll set out and prove everything by logic cannot be done. The Bhuto na Bhavishyati. 
सो स्थानादि उपदेश प्रूव दैट स्थान धर्म नाम रूप टीचिंग आर पॉसिबल फॉर उपासना हवे वर इलाजिकल इट मे सीम टू यू इट इज लॉजिकल वील शो वेर एवर इट इज लॉजिकल बट देन यू के नॉट क्लेम दट इज इलाजिकल सो न अनुपन्न इच्छा and it uh, there it was also mentioned so i looked up uh, what is the uh, bhashya there because no mantra is quoted here the mantras are quoted from brahat so in this context how does it fall in place also if you look at yah prithivyam tishtan prithivya antaraha yam prithvi na veda yasya prithvi shariram yah prithvi mantaraha yamayati esha ta atmantaryami amrutaha so amrutaha antaryami all these are taught for upasana it is the same section continuing in the section if you go a few mantras you will see that antaryami one who antastitva yamayati one who being inside actually takes care of all the vyavastha yamayati he takes care of the vyavastha the karma vyavastha jeeva karma phala link all that is made possible फलदातृत्म इज देर इन ओनली इन ईश्वर दैट ईश्वर ईज रिफ्लेक्टेड एज प्रतिबिंब इवन इन दि आई ऑफ दि उपासक ना अनदर थिंग दट हेज बी नोटेड वेन वी सो दैट भगवान भाष्यकार रिफ्यूट्स बै अनदर रीजनिंग दैट यू कैनॉट एक्सपेक्ट दि उपासक टू ब्रिंग इन सम पुरुष कॉज दि प्रतिबिंब एंड देन डू उपासना ऑन दैट प्रतिबिंब so how can this pratimba be possible for an upasaka any time all the time nityatvena because the purusha who is brahma who is purusha puri shete iti purusha that purusha who is within who is always within brahma paramatma who is always within the upasaka also just because he is in all jivas that that pratimba that bimba's pratibimba is nitya nitya means as long as sharira is there the pratibimba will be there the pratibimba will be there and upasana on that pratibimba will be possible all the time for the upasaka because bimba is there all the time this purusha brahma is all the time the swarupena the jiva swarupa it's upasaka swarupa is going to be there all the while therefore pratibimba is possible all the while and upasana is also possible all the while this is a flip side of the argument made by the by bhagwan bhashyakar ade prakranad akshipasya so the sutra is over next sangati is prakranad api akshistha prakranad api akshistha parmatma eva upadishyate ityah even based on prakrana no prakrana has two meanings one is that you have to be prakrana generally i have been saying as context so wherever the pratibha uh, uh, the uh, the uh, paribhashika meaning of prakarana is applicable there if you use the paribhashika meaning paribhashika meaning is the uh, what uh, is set up by puro pakshi uh, sorry set up by the puro mimamsaka for uttar mimamsa to follow so you follow uttar mimamsa is mimamsa shastra so where mimamsa in mimamsa wherever you see as to interpretation is possible through shruti itself you use shruti shruti is vachaka shabda shruti is not uh, shruti is not that which is heard as you know, in veda vedanta shruti paribhashika meaning of shruti in as pramana not as shabda pramana but i am saying as pramana in analysis in mimamsa when you do analysis as to what is the tatparya what is the meaning of this vakya in karma the way they do it the same way mimamsa has to be done in uttar mimamsa also in vedanta also so wherever that technical meaning is possible shruti sakshat shruti is there therefore this is the meaning then that shruti is what it is vachaka shabda what it says that is the literal meaning there by that application the way we saw the, the shruti exists which says amrutam abhayam brahma so that shruti pramana makes it possible to have this mimamsa as to what is the tatparya there tatparya and where is this used really angangi bhava in karma kanda in puru mimamsa it is used to have an ischya of angangi bhava 
So similar analysis is there as to what is the context. Prakarana is also what context as a very loosely used word when the Paribhashika Shabda is not meaningful there in Mimamsa. So when you look at Angangi Bhava, is, does this mantra connect with the other mantra elsewhere? Are they connected in that manner? Which is the Anga, which is the Angi? In that, you use Shruti Linga, Prakarana, Stana, all these are there. So, Samakhya Paryantam. So there, this Prakarana means Ubhaya Kamsha. So Linga there, Shruti Linga. Linga is lesser powerful than the Shruti. If Saksha Shruti is there, that should be used. But the, since the uh, in, in the uh, Mimamsa, Puro Mimamsa, the analysis of karma, which is there as a topic of discussion in Brahmana, not in the Mantra Bhaga, Samhita Bhaga. Samhita Bhaga Vakyas can be there, but they are analyzed as to how to apply them to karma. So, Mantra is to be chanted. When it is chanted, it will be related to some karma. That karma is discussed in the Brahmana, where in Brahmana you will see whether this karma is a part of another karma or it is a mukhya karma. If this is the anga or this is the angi, that kind of a decision has to be taken. So there all these are pramana. Shruti linga itya. So Shruti is vachaka shabda, linga is nyapaka shabda. Whereas prakarana is where there ubhaya akanksha is there. There are two vakyas which, which fulfill each other. One part is missing in the other and the other is missing in the first one. So when you, uh, so when they both put together, bring about complete sense, then they have prakarana. So here prakarana, sometimes prakarana can mean in Brahma Sutra also analysis. Sometimes prakarana can mean where ubhaya akanksha is said, especially in Upanishads when they are analyzed. But here prakarana can be context also. So uh, I'm just saying this because I I keep on translating it as. Uh, since uh, I've said that, you know, I'll see that if I can translate everything so that it suits uh, those who do not have, uh, you know, the strong background of Sanskrit. So there, Prakarna, I have to translate. I have, I have no better word there. So I use context, but it is a loose usage of word. So it can be technical. So I will shift slowly. I'll shift to uh, using only Prakarna, not context. So Prakarna can mean both. So we have to look up as to what is the meaning there. So that's an aside there. So, prakrana uh, uh, api akshistaha, one who is there in the akshi, in the eye, paramatma eva upadishyate, is that same paramatma which is being taught. Why so? What is the prakrana there? If you look up, you'll see sukha vishishta vidhana devacha, sukha vishishta vidhana devacha. So, I'll finish this, uh, I'll just mention the sutra artha and move on. We have already over short time. So, sukha vishishta vidhana devacha. Sukha Vishishta Vidhanad Eva Cha. The earlier there was not much to uh, do Pada Cheda. Here also not one word. Sukha Vishishta Vidhanad, one word. Eva, second and Cha, third. Since Sukha Vishishta Vidhana is there, if you go further there, you will see in the next chapter, you will see Prano Brahma, Kam Brahma, Kham Brahma iti. Vakyo Pakrame Shruyamanam Yat Sukha Vishishtam Brahma Tasyeva Iha Abhidhana Dityartha. So it's a very short vritti, but I'll not do the vritti because there's a lot of things to look at. What is the uh, what is the meaning there? So we'll spend more time in the vritti in the next part, huh? but the meaning is that Sukha Vishishta. Sutra meaning is Sukha Vishishta Abhidhana Devacha. Since the Sukha Vishishta Brahma, the Brahma which is being discussed is we saw Amrutattva Dharma, Abhaya Dharma, but then Sukha is also talked about. That Sukha is Ananda Swarupa. Since Sukha Vishrita Abhidhana has been done, since it has been named as that, named as, like, it is not said that this has Ananda or whatever. Sukham Brahma, that kind of a meaning is there in the, in the Vakyas, Sukham Brahma. How that meaning comes out, we will see in the next part in the Vritti and uh, the Vishaya Vakyas. But the Abhidhana that has been used there, for Brahma, what is the kind of, uh, you know, how it is pointed out, with what Shabda has it been pointed out? What is the Shabdartha of that, meaning Vachaka also, what is the Vachyartha of that word there? It is a Lakshana of Brahma. Satchidananda Brahma, the Ananda, Sukha, 
known as sukha also ananda sukha is what is being talked about that is being pointed there abhidhana is of that sukha vishishta abhidhana evacha and that cannot be jiva that cannot be pratibimba it has to be parmatma because swarup of parmatma is sukha it is sukha vishishta abhidhana is being done therefore that sukha swarupa has been shown tasya brahmana upadeshat since vyapadeshat upadesha therefore what parmatma is the meaning so the parmatma eva upadishyate kutaha sukha vishishta abhidhana devacha therefore parmatma brahma is upasya even in the akshi of the upasaka so we'll stop here संसिधम आदिमध्यार्जित आनंद घनमा पूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे नमस्ते धन्यवाद